Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, where we dive into the most pressing headlines in the entertainment industry. Today, we're breaking down Suge Knight's resurfaced warning to Diddy. Yes, that's Suge Knight. The former Death Row Records co-founder had some chilling words for his old rival, especially following Diddy's recent arrest on sex trafficking charges. We'll look at what Suge said, the past accusations, and why this could mean big trouble for the bad boy mogul. First off, let's talk about Suge Knight's direct warning to Diddy that resurfaced after after the arrest. While speaking on his Collect Call podcast with Dave Mays, Suge made it clear that Diddy's life could be in danger. According to Suge, Puffy knows too much, specifically about secret gatherings, which Suge ominously referred to as that little secret room. Suge didn't hold back, saying, they gonna get you if they can. He even went as far as mocking Diddy's famous brother love moniker saying it's definitely not a code name you want to be using behind bars. It's classic Suge. I tell you what, Puffy. Your life is in danger. Because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participating in. So, you know they're going to get you if they can. It's a little crazy how Puffy get booted out the alcohol business and Jimmy Ivan steps in with Andre and, and Snippy promoting it. It's never a good luck when it comes to culture of hip hop and for our community, and our people. I turn myself in. Sometimes you gotta face the music. That's most of the time. Perfect. I'm going to give you some real advice. Two quick things. You got to make a decision. When you go to prison, either you're going to be standing up pissing or squatting sitting down pissing. I advise you to try to take the first one. You know, if you're squatting and pissing on the seat, you know what that means. Oh, yeah, by the way, do not do your time going by Brother Love. Brother Love is not a good code name for prison. I'm out. Throwing in a jab while also dropping a serious claim that paints a picture of deeper, more sinister happenings behind the scenes. Now, here's where things take an unexpected turn. Despite their long-standing feud, Suge didn't exactly celebrate Diddy's downfall. In fact, in the TMZ Presents, the downfall of Diddy documentary on Tubi, Suge expressed surprising sympathy. He said his first reaction wasn't what most people would expect. Instead of celebrating, Suge thought about Diddy's children and how this situation impacts them. He even called it a bad day for hip hop and the culture because, in Suge's words, this type of scandal drags the entire community down. It's a rare glimpse of Suge showing some empathy, but he still made it clear that the accusations against Diddy, whether true or not, are nothing to celebrate. But let's not forget, Suge has made several accusations against Diddy over the years. Back in November, Suge claimed that Diddy assaulted a female assistant for not telling him about Cassie's relationship with Kid Cudi. To make matters worse, Suge alleged that Diddy was involved in blowing up Kid Cudi's car. These accusations have continued to shadow Diddy. And now, with the recent arrest, the old skeletons are coming back to haunt him. While Suge has stated that he doesn't cheer for Diddy's downfall, he's made it clear that he knows a lot about the bad boy founder's past behavior. This paints a troubling picture for Diddy, as these claims, whether proven or not, fuel the fire during his legal battles. In the end, Suge Knight's warning to Diddy has taken on new weight following Diddy's shocking arrest. Whether Suge's words were a genuine warning or a part of their long-standing rivalry, one thing is for sure. The secrets of hip-hop's most powerful moguls are far from fully exposed. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Reup. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest entertainment news. Drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts on Suge Knight's claims. Do you think Diddy's life is really in danger? Or is this just another chapter in their infamous beef? Until next time.